Hi everyone, welcome to Sean Allen Films, the educational series. I'm Sean Allen. This is part three of the muscular system. In the last episode, we talked about the muscles that surround your head. If you haven't seen the last episode, I suggest you either click the annotation above, or if you can't see it, click the link in the description of this video. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at the muscles in your chest and your back. Plain and simple. So if you're ready, let's get started with today's episode. Let's start off with the muscles in the chest. Along your shoulders runs a muscle called the deltoid. This muscle helps in the function of raising and lowering your arm. Directly next to the deltoid is the pectoralis major. This muscle is unique because it flexes the arm. Wow, that is impressive. Oh, the pectoralis major helps out in the stretching and rotation of the arms. Oh, what's this? Uh, <laughs> it's an actual piece of honeycomb. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Real honeybees made this. Where can I stick this? Hmm. I have to think about this one. Believe it or not, but there happens to be a pectoralis minor. Where is this muscle? It happens to be right behind the pectoralis major. What is so interesting about this muscle? Well, it helps you when you are breathing. It is connected to your ribs. Let's move down and look at the muscles that make up the abdominal region of the human body. The muscles that we usually call the six pack is actually called the rectus abdominis. This is usually the area of a superhero that comic book artists like to exaggerate. When you are doing sit-ups, these are the muscles that you are exercising. They also help you take a bow. Along the sides of the body are the external oblique, internal oblique, and transversus abdominis. Both external oblique and internal oblique help stretch out the backbone. In other words, they do the exact same job. It's just that the external oblique is on top of the internal oblique. The transversus abdominis helps keep the lower portion of the digestive tract compressed. Okay, so now let's move on and talk about the muscles in your back. Along the back side of the neck lies a huge muscle called the trapezius. This helps you if you need to shrug, like if you're confused about something. Okay, student, tell me why the sky is blue. Oh, I know why the sky is blue. I'm asking the student. Oh. You don't know, do you? <laughs> Tough luck for that guy. Running down the back is a long muscle called latissimus doris. This is a very easy muscle to remember because its only job is to bring the arm back to the body. Here, go take this and study some more. All right, everyone, just a few more muscles to review, and then we will be done with today's episode. Sound good? Awesome. Let's continue. The other muscles are teres major, teres minor, infraspinatus, and rhomboidus. These also help in the rotation and extension of your arms. Well, everyone, we have finished part three of the muscular system. In case you want to review the muscles in your chest, back, and shoulder muscles, I suggest that you re-watch this video again. Next time, we're going to be looking at the muscles that are in your arm. Before you go, please be sure to like this video and leave a comment or video response telling us what you thought about today's show. Be sure to also check out the official Sean Allen Films Facebook page dedicated to Sean Allen Films The Educational Series. Also, if you want to check out Sean's other content here on YouTube, check out Sean Allen Films The Vlog Series and Sean Allen Films The Disneyland Video Series. Well, that's all for today. Until next time, keep on learning. <laughs>